though, because if there was any doubt about this obscenity and structural assault on the safety net and democracy being passed, they did need to make sure that uh, Roy Moore uh, wins this Senate race, a guy who was uh, you know, a very normal Senate candidate. He was banned from a mall for harassing children. Uh, you needed to make cops, sure. Just another note, cops yeah. had to watch him at football games. Cops had to watch him at football games because he was really into picking up children. He would say things like, Hey, well, I got to prepare a case, and uh, when you're uh, maybe when you're done with your trigonometry homework, you and I could uh, create a diversionary story for your mother, and then you can go back to uh, my house, and I can assault you. Totally normal uh, pickup artistry there, and uh, Republicans needed to make sure that this guy is seated so that Meghan McCain can get a gift from her dad which he married into from another gift of a, I think a beer fortune, which is That's what right. his wife is, which is we should totally be making policy just for these people. That should be the point of Washington. When you, when you wake up in the morning every day, you should think, how can I give the Koch brothers, Megan McCain <laughs> and Mike Bloomberg more money? I'm tired of all of these takers like children with malnutrition. Yeah, and should, people working two different jobs. It's disgusting. They should make it the old-fashioned way like Daddy Coke did, building the government contracts with Hitler and Stalin. Yes. like that. Well, but even he, it was a little weird because he actually had to do some negotiating himself for those deals. The real way that you do it is you make sure that you're impregnated by Daddy Coke. Or, you're excuse me, you're not impregnated. You're the result of a Daddy Coke sperm meeting a Mama Coke egg. And then having a whole empire bestowed to you. That's how you do it. And if you don't design policy to, for those people, you're really not engaging in a free exchange of ideas. Pull yourself up by your sperm tail. <laughs> exactly. So here is, uh, this is Roy Moore. Um, which clip is this? Which one is this? On the sound sheet? Oh, okay. This is Roy Moore. Um who are they uh, talking about how the left will destroy America? Because, you know, as an example, if the left got into power, we would do things like, I don't know, make it easier for uh, predators to uh, sexually terrorize children. Oh, wait, maybe Roy Moore would like that. Here he is speaking in Alabama, uh, the almost certainly pedophile Roy Moore. I am. I just would like. I am a socialist. I would like to change uh, some of your lifestyle in some ways. Um, uh, like to disincentivize pedophilia. In fact, I'm pretty tough about that, even on a criminal and statutory level. Uh, I don't know your latest iteration, but I'm definitely going to be a supporter of things like the Civil Rights Act. Uh, I don't think that Muslims should be banned from serving in Congress. And I also don't think that the entire point of the federal tax code is to wage class war on everybody that isn't a multimillionaire. So in some ways, Roy Moore is pretty on target there. And it's a bit rich for him to be speaking about political actors uh, using their clout to protect their p prestige. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they would be they would they have no standards. They would do something like face multiple credible allegations of pedophilia and child molestation and continue to run for the United States Senate, as an example, all for their own prestige and political attention. 
He's going to win that race most likely because apparently a guy being um, almost certainly a pedophile being elected to the United States Senate is not an exciting news story after a couple of days. And almost and the White House and everybody else lining up behind him is, of course, I guess, just not particularly big news. What is an interesting news story about that uh, little speech he gave is in the choir of that church is a minister. Uh, this is the headline from uh, Alabama.com. Mm. Minister who sang for Roy Moore lied for son accused of molesting Hunter and orphans. Oh, isn't that lovely? Um, yeah, this guy, Bill Atkinson, um, apparently... Yes, Reverend Bill Atkinson, who led the music portion of the Moore event at the Magnolia Springs Baptist Church, where the Senate candidate spoke for 20 seconds, blah, blah, blah. In 2012, Atkinson was found guilty of obstruction and conspiracy for ordering two of his children to destroy a hard drive and a video recorder, which held evidence that incriminated his son for child molestation. At the time, William James Will Atkinson IV was in a Honduras jail awaiting charges that he molested children in an orphanage that the Atkinson family owned. These allegations came to light when his younger brother, uh, Jonathan Atkinson, set up a secret surveillance system in Will's office after some of the children said they had been touched inappropriately. What kind of liberal socialist is Jonathan? No, I was just going to say, well, Jonathan Atkinson is obviously a socialist because he was concerned that his brother was molesting Honduran children. What kind of globalist is he? Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.